Yo, what's up? It's Dirty6996 coming back. We got a new episode, episode 6. Last week we raided Fort Mercer looking for Bill Williamson, and he escaped. So, let's go get him. This is the start of chapter 2, episode 6. Let's see what we can get into. trying to save some woman. Unless you want to start working Let's try this again. You'll keep John as far as possible from the governor. Now how do you think she be having all that money? Get caught to that. Shy big man. Spend some time with me. No thank you, my dear. Hey, partner. There you go. That's a fine deal. A fine transaction. Nice doing business. Hello to you. Huh. Darn newcomers. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we?
about I make you famous? All you gotta do is agree to a duel. I killed worse than you. I spent my life proving fools like you wrong. You like rubbing up on me there? I'm faster and tougher than any of you. Anything interesting, friend? Lunatics! Hello. Well, look at you. Howdy. How can I help you? Reyes is as revolutionary as Napoleon. Howdy. I keep foreign and Jewish-made goods out of my store. Help our American families. Anything else I can do for you? The Southwestern Railroad Company is just a front for the Jews to run the country, you know? That shootout in Fort Mercer? Williamson's guy, all dead. Fine choice. Time to think about a different line of business. Someone might as well have this. I could read. 
really use a hand, friend. I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Right. Ah, here now! Daughter. You're closer gonna be a lot 
Let's go. Oh, that ain't. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> what can I say, partner? Oh, Lord, this is nasty. That's what I wanted. on board.
before I get frothy. Damn, but a really big boot spot for a hot day. I'm sorry, pal. Watch you yourself, mister. Hello. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, excuse me. Howdy. Careful. Can't your yokel brain with your walk? Oh, Lord, help! you to untie me. Thank you so much. Anyone else would have done the same. Open, mister. You pay polka? Yeah, I believe Nate John making a stream in black man. You want to throw some dice? Easy money. Two fellas came in. Sure. I'll join you, fine gentlemen. Just ain't right Let's not get in the butter. That miracle tonic makes your chestnuts bleed. You better watch it. Okay, then. Any up. Another train got raided on Butter Bridge. True enough. I heard that Cougar tub three lawmen the other week. Here's my bed. That's the God honest truth. Look at my eye. Wonder if you're a liar or not. Hey! Hello there. Master Johnson's been digging around here some. I swear. Those bandits getting more bold, getting closer to the borders of town. Think I'll make a bid. You look like a bullshit. Now that's a liar. How are you? Master Seal. Howdy. Hello there. Been here about there the goes another die. You know Miss Hollicker, the dentist wife? Yeah, yeah. Time the time to shit himself. A witch. Man. True enough. Why are you sweating? You want to look the fool? Yeah. Mr. McSwain, I expect I'll be seeing y'all later. I'll make a bit. Well. Hello there. I don't know about you. Hello there. Howdy. That's way off, my friend. Hello. Another wagon got robbed in Mescalero. I heard Mr. Wilkins got a damn tiger up in his bar. Tiger. That's what I like to see.
Interesting. I wonder. That can't be right. I heard you used to be a duke in England. That didn't go well for you. And how was your movement this morning? from Pike's face and we're heading in. True enough. I'll bid. All right. Let's see. Two fellas came in, guns a blade, and ran off with some ammunition. Just ain't right feeling for my smother. Hey, ugly. Can't you my feelings? I swear. That miracle turning makes your chestnuts bleed. You better watch Unlucky, it. my friend. I'm gonna beat ya, then start on it. Hmm. Now, are you full of shit, I wonder? Ah, oh, it's been a while. That you and father's been causing trouble again. True enough. <laughs> we got a joker here. Ain't your fault you're gonna die. I'm a professional. You lie so good, probably cheating too. I heard that cougar talk three long ago. I need more Wonder drink. Wonder if you're a liar or not. I need not. more. Or not. Good day. My bed. I'm gonna make I ain't no lie. Hmm. You look like a bullshit. You know Miss Hollicker, the dentist wife? I heard she's a you witch. You can't be serious. A witch. Mr. Johnson's been digging around here. You're so. still in, partner. I swear. Why are you sweating? I heard Mr. Wilkins got a damn tiger up in his bar. Tiger. You awake well this morning, man. I back you. I say spot you can on. Make good money for go me to run West Elizabeth. I know. <clears throat> Farewell. Au revoir. Hot damn, you got me. I ain't gonna make it easy for you. I heard another train got raided on Butter Bridge. True enough. Those bandits getting more bold, getting closer to the borders of town. Here's my bid. You think I'm full of shit? Hello, handsome. You got me that time. Time 
Shit That's the God on his truth. Look at my I eyes. swear. That miracle tonic makes your chestnuts bleed. Better watch it. Two fellas came in, guns a blade, and ran off with some ammunition. Just ain't right stealing from honest smuggling. True enough. Think I'll make a bid. I thought I had one of those trusting faces. That Drew McFarland's been causing trouble again. You I good, swear. mister. You know that fool with the gifted leg? I heard he used to be a duke in England. Thank you. Hello, hello. You know Miss Holland, the business wife? I heard she's a witch. A witch? Fancy around the liars, guys? Draw your hand up to blackjack. Hello there. Hello there. Come in swinging. Excuse me, mister. Watch it, you fuck!
Got a place in mind, mister? To Benedict Point, please. Better get some good out, mister. I can feel 40 winks coming on. called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. You been practicing that line all week, fool? Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. And that fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight!
You called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool. to work then. there, friend. Let's 
make this quick. Still. <laughs> you stink. Partner, this gang just won't get the message. Could sure use a hand clearing them out. Come on, the whole place is still chock full of sons of bitches. Come on now. What's happening here? Playtime's over, kid. Oh, you're right.
back to work. Hi! That looks like everyone in town. Let's head up to the mansion and finish this. What's wrong? Hurry up! I sure appreciate all the help, partner. It won't be forgotten. I promise you that. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this 
this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Oh. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Come on! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Miss, I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you, a real sweetheart. I gotta ask, mister, didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. You good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Go! Hey there, Lucy. You excited to go back to your special man? Miss, are you speaking to that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Such a lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs>
this is mighty generous of you, mister. Rest in peace, my friend.
all that work for twenty dollars. I chased that dude all across the mountainside. I was gonna lasso him and bring him back alive, but the wolves messed it up. I had to kill him. Oh well. Let's see what else we can get into. I knew that already. You know, if Johns is elected governor, he's going to open the rail lines to Allende. Quiet. They got spies everywhere. Trust the dice played in your favor. Go, be on your way. Another adventure awaits you, I'm sure. Good luck. Last still. <laughs> is everyone. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. 
Hey, come on now. And look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, you know, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, we're here now. Look out, bandits! Cut the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. For the love of God! For Christ's sake, Johnny, shoot the sons of bitches! I should have quickly mentioned there's a bounty of the head in Mexico. All right, I'll beat this throat and tinderbox once we use these sons of bitches. Go to hell, the Lord of you! Reload from that box at the back, please, sir. What are you waiting for? Put him down! Guess I got up to more mischief than I remember on my last visit to Mexico. We'll ride the river out. No point trying to land till we're well away from these bastards. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. You must be taking up another Irish fella. But could you kill a couple of these bastards?
On the cliff to your left, more the bastards! so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Hey, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What's oh, that poke? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston?
Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! Don't you handle on me yet! So much cover! Step foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on Well, I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should tell the shore up ahead. God damn it, there's another two. <laughs> horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy <laughs> before you degrade these poor fools any further tell me where I'm headed of course of course let me think you do know people down here aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way yes I think so <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here John you know how it is I, I met an American guy uh, saw him shoot a man Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. I, he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. 
Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one.
trap. Anytime, friend. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo. Feel the fucking bean eater. Hablo. Slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo. Little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> You mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. Very big. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, 
You don't stand a chance. And you do? Can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a with Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Let's go again. Concentrate on all three bottles at the same time. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of it. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time.
done, sir. You've been taught well. I haven't got all day. Senor Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. Come on, these people need me. Are you all right? Just a bit of pain in the knees, damned horse. It's a terrible thing, you know, getting old. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, and you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like it's supposed to. See, the problem with old age is, just when you start to understand life, you're too long in the tooth to enjoy it. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. something for my troubles. Touch landing. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a landed Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. Dios mío, vienen más. Estamos muertos. That's it. Make me a today. Good work, boy. Now let's get this wagon back where it belongs. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for 
too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn yeah, right they don't. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Sánchez va a visitar Nuevo Paraíso el mes que viene. Well, I think that's enough for tonight. We made it to Mexico. Uh, 
next episode we'll be able to start up some new missions in a new area so this is your boy dirty 6996 I hope you like watching um, tune in for the next episode like and subscribe for those not and click on those notifications that way you'll know when the uh, next episode is thank you have a good night